Hello and welcome to Edit. All right. Hello and welcome to Edit Empire's first video tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to convert H.264 codec into XD Cam. And if that doesn't make sense to you, if you have something like a Kodak ZI8 or a flip camera that records to a nice compressed file so you can upload straight to YouTube, but isn't really the best for editing with Final Cut Pro, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. So first I'm going to show you the clip that I have as a little test clip. Then I'm going to pull it into MPEG Stream Clip, an awesome free program you can download off the internet from squared5.com. And I am going to put it in Final Cut and show you how to do that. And also I am going to show you how to use the Media Manager in Final Cut, another way of encoding those files. So let's take a look at this file here. If I just press the space we're on here, you can see the file, it's actually a high quality H.264 that um, pr doesn't really play that smoothly off, right off the bat on my system, especially since I got it recording and everything like that, let alone will it work well in Final Cut. It probably plays smoothly for simple edits in Final Cut, but if you watch and I drag it down here into the timeline, you say change settings, yes, and you can see it doesn't need to be rendered or anything. It can play right in Final Cut, but the key thing here, if you look at the real-time settings, you see there's not a lot of options here. And then if you were to double click it and say scale it up 1% like that, you can see it has to re-render here. So if we wanted to play that now, you'd have to re-render that whole thing. And that's just not ideal. So let's get rid of that and we'll bring it into the MPEG stream clip. So I got my MPEG stream clip open right here. And I go back to our finder window, just drag this down into MPEG stream clip. Awesome. Now I'm going to say file export to QuickTime. And I'm going to pick settings that are that I know are good for editing in Final Cut Pro. You could use uh, an Apple Intermediate Codec or ProRes for really high res stuff, or you can go with an XD Cam EX or an HDV setting. I'm going to today I'm going to go with the XD Cam EX 1080p 30, 35 megabytes per second variable bitrate, all that fun stuff. If the quality is set at anything lower than 100%, bump it up there, unless you don't want it that big. And if interlace scaling is on, make sure you take that off. All the other settings should be pretty default. You can also save a preset in presets here, which can save you a lot of time. So you say make movie, and now it's asking us for a name, so I'm gonna add a little ending onto it so we know it's different from our other foot or other footage clip. And the cool thing about MPEG stream clip is it's a quite a bit faster than uh, the media manager on Final Cut Pro so I like to use that especially if you're going back to H.264 afterwards um, and you don't have any additional software or hardware for that. And we can see it's about 24% done right now. All right, and through the magic of editing, uh, we're gonna skip some of the, or we just skipped some time, and we're coming to the end of the compression here, or actually almost a decompression. And there we go, we have our file in here. So I'm just gonna drag our file back into Final Cut, our new encoded one, and then drag it down in the timelines, have the setting of the sequence match it. So we say yes, and we can play it out here. So that looks good. And if we click on our real-time settings, you can see we have all the additional options there. And if we were to scale it up over here, you can see, so we put it up one. Now, obviously, when you finally export it, it is gonna have to re-encode it, but because of the format that it is, it allows us to check out effects a lot faster and play them back in real-time. So I can actually play this back, and if I didn't have my recording and all the other equipment going at the same time, it would play smoothly right now, which would be amazing. So that saves a lot of time. Now let's go back and learn how to do this in Final Cut with the Media Manager if you don't want to download uh, the MPEG stream clip. So we got our footage here, and I'm going to go up to File, Media Manager, and right here I'm going to click Recompress. 
Now we can go down and pick out the, the codec that we want. One thing I did on the last one that I'm going to change on this one is the footage was originally shot at 24 frames per second, so I should have technically picked 1080p 24. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for this one. And then you don't have to click the delete unused media unless you already edited a sequence and you want to change it without encoding all the extra stuff that you cut out. And I'm not going to duplicate the project this time. So I'm going to pick my destination, which is going to be on my desktop and my working folder right here, tutorial. And I say OK. And away it's going to go. The reason Final Cut can edit better with these with the XD cam versus the H.264 codec is because uh, they aren't compressed as much. Um, yes, they are still compressed, but there's more what we call iframes or actual picture frames and less of the data of how the stuff is compressed. So it's able to run through the video a lot quicker and, and in turn we can edit a lot faster with real-time effects and great things like that. And again, through the magic of editing, we'll come back when this is real close to the end. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we're back and Media Manager has finished, so let's go find that file and see if it's what we wanted. So I'm gonna switch over to the Finder, and you'll notice that the Media Manager made its own media folder, and inside there we have our untitled project because I haven't saved my final cut, not the best practice. And then in here we have the, the file, and I actually already went back and renamed it to XDCAM Media Manager, so that way I knew it from the other file. And I come in here, dragged it into Final Cut, now I drag it down on my timeline, yes I want to match settings, play it, and you can see that it plays smoothly. Um, we have all these extra features and I can do all the extra effects like that. One last quick thing, if you're ever wondering what kind of format your footage is, you can always double click the file to open it in quick time, and then if you do Command I to see the movie properties, you'll see right over here we have the format H.264 with all the additional information. So if you ever need to find out what kind of format it is or what you've converted it to, that's always one way to do that. And that is it for uh, our first tutorial here at Edit Empire. My name is Colin Wagaman, and this video has been made possible thanks to Influence Engines. So until the next video, I will see you later.